Welcome back to Leafs, where you learn IT with Shexa. Today we are going to learn how to use AND and OR in an IF function. So you get a story, something like this, and you are asked to write a formula or even to draw the, the table and come up with a formula that you use. So given this story, you need to know that which function are you using? Is it an if function? Is it a count if function? But uh, because um, I have given you a hint by this topic which says using and and all in an if function, you will automatically know that uh, the solution uses an if function. So this is the story. And that's the table. So here it's saying, given the table below, a team member's strength is said to be strong only if his stamina is high and his weight is above 50. Moderate if stamina is medium and weak. If his weight is less than 30 or if his stamina is low. Give the formula that you will put in cell D3 to determine Peter's strength. Describe how you would highlight weak members in red colors. So this is our table. And uh, these are the team members that we have. Right. These, are the team, these are the team members. We have Simon, Peter, James, and John. And Tamina. It's high, low, medium, and high. The weight is 60, maybe it's in kg, 29 kg is 33 and 80. So here, that's the strength that is being described. That's uh, where the formula should be put. So for Peter, it's the formula should be put here. So I need to write a formula in this cell. As we said uh, in earlier videos, if you want to write a formula or a function, you start with an equal sign. So we are going to write our formula in this cell. But now we need to know what we should write. Here it's saying that, 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 that. So we, how do we know that it's an if function? We have an if there which says a team member's strength is said to be strong only if his stamina, which is this column, is high. So if stamina is high and weight and that's where we want to use the end and his weight is above 50 and weight being above 50 like that so meaning to say simon is strong so strength is said to be moderate if stamina is medium and weak someone's strength is said to be weak if his weight is less than 30 or if his stamina is low so moderate someone is moderate only if uh, the stamina is medium. So if it's medium, just like that, meaning to say this one is moderate. It's the strength of someone with uh, moderate strength is determined only by stamina. And the strength of someone who is strong is determined by stamina at weight. And someone who is having a low a what a what a weak strength weak strength is determined by weight and stamina so we need to write a formula so this is our question and we need to go to the we need to go to the excel so that we write the correct formula so i will minimize that and i will copy this to Excel. I do have the Excel here, so maybe if I copy the paste it there. I 
paste it uh, to promote it. I have zoomed it. <coughs> I have zoomed my Excel so that we can actually see what you want to do. So this text is not going to be clear. So we, we just alternate for the read the question. We go back to Excel. So I am asked to write the formula for Peter's strength. So I click in this cell, which is D3. So this cell is D3. Even if you check the name box there, it's D3. So I click there. As we said earlier, every time you want to type a function or a formula, you start with an equal sign like that. So we put our equal sign. And what's next? We know that the function that we're going to put in there is an if function. So we put an if. Alright. So from an if function, you put the curve bracket and the syntax starts to pop up like that. So the next thing is the logical test. And what is our logical test? Let's go back to our PowerPoint and check uh, our question. And our question is, uh, he's saying a team member's strength is said to be strong if his stamina, if stamina is high. So, if stamina is high and weight is above 50. So, we need to check weight and stamina. So, we have two columns to check. So, we go back here. We say we have stamina and weight, right? So these two, how are they related? It's an end. So we say these two uh, conditions need, need to be true. These two conditions need to be true for a person to be, to be considered as strong. So we need to put an end, A N D. So we say for us to use an end, you say end outside the brackets it, just after the cave the first cave the bracket so inside there you put no you don't need to do that you get in there so you put the two conditions so the first condition is this we are saying stamina which is in b3 so we say b3 what is it about the stamina so the stamina is said to be what if stamina is high so we go back and say stamina which is in b3 is equal to so we put that and we say high so if stamina is high but it's not only that we say it end so we need to have several conditions inside the uh, brackets. So we are combining several uh, conditions. And all of them must be true for us to consider this person as strong. So which other condition do we need to consider? So let's check from our statement stamina we are done with stamina and his weight is above 50 so which column is having weight you go back here which column is having weight is c3 so we say c3 with a weight greater greater than 50 if not mistaken let's bring, let me go and check and his weight is above 50 so i say weight which is c3 is above 50. so this is the whole condition for someone which needs to be true for someone to be considered as strong so i put my comma there i put the value if true value for true so value for true is what strong strong like that right i put a comma so if someone's stamina is high and 